Hi and welcome to today's ant vlog. Today I want to give you another update on the Atta colony, on the leafcut rants colony. Um, I know I just had an update two weeks ago and I originally intended not to make too many of those updates. Uh, wait at least a month or a couple of weeks because I don't want to bore you guys with the same colony all the time. But uh, something happened and I really want to share it. I just want to tell you about it uh, with the colony. So. Uh, Let's get right into it. What happened is that uh, yesterday uh, the, the fungus, uh, part of the fungus tipped over and that's quite usual, that's nothing special because uh, the way they, they create those, the fungus or they, they build up the fungus is they, they always um, create new fungus on the top of the fungus and then they carry away old fungus at the bottom and that's, well, it's uh, bound to happen sometimes that the uh, fungus tips over or part of the fungus tips over if they build like that. And that happened yesterday and that's usually not a big thing. It's a little nuisance for the ants and usually when, when it happens uh, they will stop harvesting leaves for a couple of hours, one or two hours and uh, make sure they rearrange everything in the fungus chamber, especially the brood. But uh, usually after two hours or something like that uh, business is back normal, they start cutting leaves again and building up new fungus. So it's not a big deal for the ants, it's a little bit a nuisance of course, but not a big deal. And uh, it happened before, it's not the first time that it happened to this colony. And uh, they always, they had never had a problem with it, it never really stopped them. But what happened this time was that uh, it revealed something to me uh, and that was the amount of brood they have. Because it tipped over I was able to see the, the real amount of brood they have because usually that the brood is, is hidden inside the chambers of the fungus. A lot of it is hidden and you can't really see the full extent of it. But uh, as you can see on this footage here, uh, most of the brood now was, was visible due to the, due to the fungus in, being in this new position. And I was astonished about how much brood they had. I tried to, co to count them, I made photos and tried to count them on the photos. And uh, it's really hard to count because they're stacked on each other and also they're white in front of a white background because the fungus is white as well. So it's hard to count them, but uh, what I, as my estimates right now after counting, trying to count them as good as possible is that what's, what is visible is between four and 500 uh, larvae and, and pupae that are visible on top of the fungus and there might be much more inside the fungus as well. And uh, I didn't count the eggs because the eggs are not visible, they are too small and also white on the white fungus so it's hard to, tell, to, to count eggs or almost impossible. But only the larvae and the pupae uh, in this part of the fungus, uh, I'm pretty sure it's around 500 or even more. Uh, so there's a lot of brood there and bear in mind that's not the only uh, fungus so they have another piece of fungus in the same in the same chamber and then they have a second fungus chamber where they also have fungus and I know there there is brood as well in that in that fungus so uh, there might be even more so that's quite a lot of brood for a colony that is maybe 1500 uh, workers strong so uh, what I think happened is that uh, after re recovering from the from the setback that we had a couple of weeks again uh, a couple of weeks ago, what I believe happened as soon as the resources were back, as soon as there was enough fungus again, the queen really started laying eggs, uh, trying to recover or trying to rebuild what what was lost during that setback, and. Uh, that's a huge amount of brood, so I really expect a, a, an explosion of population in the next few weeks. And, and that's amazing news, because more workers mean that there will be more leaves, that they will cut, be able to cut more leaves, they will be able to build up fungus faster. And uh, I think we're really in a good way on, on a, for the recovery of the, of the whole colony. If, I don't really know how, how many uh, pupae there are, or how many larvae there are. If you, if you would count all together from all parts of the fungus, but I'm pretty sure we're close to, to a thousand and, uh, and that's great. So uh, I think within the next few weeks we'll have a, a lot more workers and the fungus will grow even faster and uh, yeah, I'm really excited about things to come. Also I realized in the last few days that uh, there are larger ants again, uh, the size has increased of the workers and especially those harvesting ant, uh, leaves and that's good news as well. So this is a very short update, um, that's about it. I leave you with some footage from the last two weeks of the leafcutter ants um, uh, 
I hope you enjoyed. If you liked that video, please subscribe and leave a like uh, if you want to see more videos like that. And yeah, see you here next time. Thank you very much.